Hello everyone, so I got some Quan Li Tool Plus stencils here. I actually have, I think, pretty much all of them you can buy for all the different chips that there is. Apart from one, I think it was the 10. So I bought these from Union Repair, highly recommend them. It's super fast shipping as well. And they sent from China, so I, I think I received them within days. Um, like, I don't, I don't even think a week has passed when I received them. And these stencils are a dream. Especially for someone that doesn't like um, reballing anyway. I hate reballing. But, but to be honest, I only ever use these, these silver ones, these generic 3D stencils. And they, they are completely different. I mean, these are a nightmare in comparison. I thought, I thought that reballing was just this. But this is not even, it's not even the same category. I mean, they do say on the package, uh, what do they say? Currently re redefined stencil. And that's, I think that's quite true. This works completely differently. It, first of all, it's non eye strain like these are, because these are the silver ones. And they're, they're just a glare in the microscope with the light on. So these are black and they kind of filter out the light a bit. But that's not the best part of it. The best part of it, in my opinion, is that they're extremely accurate, but also they're flexible. I had no solars ever stuck to this for whatever reason. These were a complete nightmare. And they're a nightmare to line up, even though they're 3D stencils. So, which is surprising. I, I didn't, and these were very expensive as well. I think UK, I think I paid 25 per piece. 25 per foam. Something like that. If you were buying from the UK anyway, I'm sure you can get them cheaper from China. But these are just great. So I'm going to show you now on a NAND um, what it works like. And with these, you can actually, you can peel them off before you, which is actually not a method I've used before. But I'm going to try this now. You can, because they're so flexible, you can peel them off and without, without uh, the heat, without actually melting the, the solar paste. So you can peel them off and then you can blast the heat on it and then it, it'll uh, go in place. So I'm going to see if I can, I can do that, if I, if I can pull this off. So we're going to switch to the microscope cam. So, and if you do like these videos, do subscribe because I like experimenting with stuff like this. And I'm sure I'll have some useful videos out soon if you haven't learned anything yet. And me, myself, I'm always learning anyway, so... And you can see here, actually, why don't I put the work cam on the microscope cam as well. So, there we have the, um, the NAND and it's a bit messy there on that pad. So let me just, uh, I'm not going to bother cleaning up. Bit uneven there. Ah well, let's see how it copes with that anyway. I mean, it's not really a Tesla stencil um, if that doesn't work out in those two parts there. But um, if you don't know what I'm referring to, I'm referring to these, these two. So I don't have a. Um, I can't remember what they're called. You put them in there, the NAND. I usually just reball like this. I I, I kind of hate reballing. Usually, I hate the reballing. I love it now. I lo absolutely love it. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just put the solar paste in. Obviously, this is a bit more difficult without a... Is it a vice? No, it's not a vice. I can't remember what they're called, where you put the chip in. I'm not the world's greatest reballing person, so I'm also not the world's greatest uh, microsolera. But it's all a learning curve, so. And this is usually how I do it. So here's something I'm going to try, which I haven't tried before. I'm going to just peel it off. 
Let's see how it goes. So, I think you may need drier. Oh, ooh, this may work. Actually, maybe not. Because of these in the middle here. Because my, to be honest, my my solar pace is a bit runny. So I'm gonna turn the air way down on this, way down. Let's do like, I don't know, like 20 on the quick. I don't even know if this is gonna work. Ah, uh, look how runny it is. Come on. I'm doing a very slow... Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay, I usually reboil quicker than this, but... If I get used to this, this is cool. This is really cool. You don't even need a stencil over it. Which means you don't have to uh, be that careful holding it in line when the when you put the heat on it. Also, there's no warping. I just realized there's no warping. Obviously, you're not putting any heat on it. Now, you can do this with NAND. I don't think you can do it with uh, denser uh, BGAs, like for example, Audio IC, or the, the, most definitely not the CPU. So, but like with the NAND, that's, that's easy. That is so easy. And you could see like with the, with the stencil, I could just peel it off. It was like, you know, a piece of plastic, except it's not. It's like um, aluminum stainless steel, something like that maybe. Perhaps aluminum because it's probably anodized, I'm guessing. Anyway, like look how neat that is. Let me give it a scrub as well. So this is like ready to go on the phone. This is this is really nice. This is really nice. And this is from coming from someone that, that absolutely I before this, before I had these stencils, I hated this. I absolutely hated this. Look how nice that came out. Wow. And these are all really even as well. Look at this. That is perfect. Yeah, I'm loving this. Wow, okay. So, uh, Quanli, I hope I don't butcher your business name, but uh, those tools are amazing, seriously. And I'm sure it's even better with the, I mean, NAND is easy enough to reboil, but I'm sure it's even better with uh, things like Audi I see with, with a um, denser BGA grid. So, oh, this is amazing. I can't, I, especially, especially if you're learning reballing, this is the best thing to learn on, in my opinion. Obviously, I haven't tried many, but so, but yeah, anyway, um, if you're interested in buying these, I highly recommend checking them out on Union Repair. If you go to Tools, and black stencils, they'll all be listed there. I bought all of them, pretty much any, every uh, black stencil you can get for about 70 pounds and the import fees on that were about 25, I believe. So it was about maybe 90, 95 pounds to import uh, in total, with including shipping by the way. So yeah, that, that's amazing, I love this. So highly recommend it, thank you Union Repair. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.